Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Me and Blondie are back this week. We've got another little DIY. So this week I decided, we all know how I love a good palette wood. And I decided to chop up an old palette. And I made a, something I had seen on Pinterest, I made a teacup teapot bird feeder. Now my woodworking skills have slightly improved. They're still not amazing, but God does love a trier. <laughs> and that I am. I'm gonna get straight into the DIY. If you are newbies and you've just stumbled across my channel, do hit that sub button if you enjoy this video. And let's get straight into the DIY. So before I get chopping up my wooden palette and popping on some safety gear, I am just simply chopping up my palette using a jigsaw. Just be extra careful if you are not used to using power tools. You can use a handsaw or you could also ask somebody to chop it up for you instead. Once I had all of my pieces of wood cut, I assembled them together. I used two small thin pieces of scrap wood to hold the whole thing together. And you'll see me drilling them into the back and you can see how I assembled everything. Don't worry about it being perfect or having to have your wood perfectly straight because the rustic kind of look is kind of what I was going for. Um, I'm kind of using that as an excuse for not having a perfect, but perfection does not have to exist with this DIY. notice that my top piece of wood is actually wider than my actual finished piece I did stick this on and I didn't like that one top was going to be larger than the other when I was designing it I thought it was going to work so I decided to use my jigsaw and cut it to size Palette wood can be really rough and if it has been outside or if it has been, you know, like used, it can be full of splinters and rough edges. So I just gave the whole piece a really good sanding and then I cleaned it before I whitewashed it with some paint. I decided to use a hook to hang my teapot on. I mean, you could try and glue the teapot on or drill through the china, but I decided to use a hook because then I could take it off if I wanted to put birdseed in. Using a drill bit that is skinnier than the actual hook, I drilled in a hole and then I simply screwed in the hook. This seems to be good and sturdy. Um, there is like a screw bottom on this hook and of course Blondie had to get in on the action. I wanted to give my piece a nice whitewashed kind of rustic effect. I wanted to keep all of the details of the wood. So in a bowl, I just have some watered down paint and I'm using the Authentico Versant Matte in the shade Milk. This is a lovely shade. It is white, but it's not, it, it's like what it says, it's called Milk. It has that lovely milky tone to it. I simply use a sponge just to work the paint into the grain of the wood. I let it dry. As this is a self-sealing paint, I didn't have to put any varnish over it. If you want to, you could, that's no problem, but this paint is self-sealing. Once my piece was fully dry, I then attached it to my wall outside. There was already some existing holes and brackets in the wall, so I just attached them to my piece, and here is the finished piece.
that is my attempt at a teapot teacup bird feeder. If anything, it's just a nice little display in my garden. If you guys had seen my previous video from a few weeks ago, I chopped up a chair and I turned it into a shelf and a planter. That has kind of bloomed since. I also have a video from last year and I still have it in my garden. I made like a teacup bird feeder wall out of a palette. I painted it pink. I'll try to pop a picture in here if I can find one. That's still going strong. So I love having these extra little things in the garden. It's a great way of adding kind of interest and maybe you have like a gap in your flower bed or like a white space on the wall. It's kind of like, it just adds it with a little bit of like interest. And I always notice when my postman cops, if I put something new in the garden, he'd be like, oh, I like your little thing you made. So uh, if the postman notices, I know it was a good DIY. <laughs> Don't forget, I still have a discount code with the guys at Authentico. I have an affiliate discount code. And um, my US ladies, it does not work in the US. I think I said in my previous video that it did, but at the moment it's not live in the US. But for my UK and Irish ladies and EU on the Authentico website, the Dainty 10 discount code should work for you. And I'll double check for Australia as well. So go get your paint and get your discount. That is me for this week. Next week, I have a fun video for you. I am recycling something again. Um, something that is in your cupboards. So keep your eyes peeled for next week's video. Um, I'll also pop a playlist here for anything kind of garden related. I have a few garden DIYs. So I think I might make a playlist for them if you guys are into that. That's it, everybody. You know the drill. Cheeky thumbs up. And I'll catch you next week. Bye everyone.